Okay, well, welcome everyone to our October 3rd virtual team meeting. I can't believe it's October. That's like crazy. So um, we're just so excited. We have lots of things um, coming for you guys, lots of tips and recognition and some training as well. And then, of course, we then answer, um, open it up to questions and answers at the end. So, um, and just make sure you... Just make sure you stay until the end because there will be a drawing for everyone that is on at the end. Um, let me just mute everyone. Uh, I think everyone's muted, but I'm hearing like some noise. Okay, I think I got it. So um, yeah, so I would like to just start with like, three to five minutes of good news. So share something that happened that you tried, that worked out, so share some ideas. Maybe you stepped outside of your comfort zone last month, or maybe, um, I don't know, maybe you had a fun show or tried something new. So let's do a couple minutes of good news. And by doing that, you just unmute yourself on the bottom left. So who wants to go first? I'll start. All right, go ahead. Okay, so last month I joined and I had two parties. Yay! Awesome! Who else? Um, oh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah, absolutely. I started about a month ago. I did a freezer workshop and I got my kit with that. And then my Uncle John helped me do my first show. And then I had my single show by myself on the first. Had four people there, and I did over four hundred dollars. Woo! Wow, that is impressive. For That's awesome! Yay. Yeah, three bookings and a potential consultant. Wow, I won't nice. party like that with four people. <laughs> yeah. I know. That's awesome. Great job, Liz. You wanted to say something too? Oh, I was just gonna say that. Um, yesterday, I did sign a consultant. I've signed two consultants this week. These are my first two new consultants in like six months. You guys. <laughs> Um, I have really been off the ball with that. Um, but also that I gave her a new host pack, um, which I did a live video in the Bizarre Bullet Train team. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. Um, but she was really excited about it. So, um, and I think it's going to help her get off to a great start. And I made one up um, for when I meet my other new consultant this week so that um, she gets the same love and care. Great idea. That's a good way to be prepared and just go in there with good expectations, right? Yep. Um, and when I made up the one for my other new consultant, I also went ahead and made up like 10 so that I can have a couple in my show bag with me for anyone who wants to sign up at a show, which is what this other um, consultant had done. Um, but so now I have them and I'm ready to go. Awesome. Great job. Who else wants to share? We got two more minutes. I'll go. Um, so far I'm Mark Green for next month. I'm Yay. so excited. Um, and that's about it so far. I'm in the middle of traveling and visiting the boyfriend and look for a new house. So everything's a little bit scrambled right now. But so far while traveling, I've, been able to continue with my online shows and that actually even qualified for another 200 and some odd dollars so i'm pretty just excited of where i'm at so far yeah. <laughs> that's, that's awesome and that's the beauty so you can do this business anytime any place right yeah it's a learning thing for me and i'm i'm enjoying it it's a new learning experience good congratulations thanks so mine's little because, I mean, I've had a lot of exciting things happen because I've been a part of the um, Lead Plus program, which is super exciting. And I was at home office and got to participate in some focus groups. And that was super awesome. But what I'm really excited about was I tried a new recipe. <laughs> I'm really not great about doing that. But, you know, like the season's best comes out and there are all these neat recipes. And I'll usually just like, you know, like one or two will jump out at me and I'll, I'll just do those. But and I'm not really a baker, and a, I like desserts, but I don't make a lot of desserts. And I tried that apple um, pie, the apple cake, the spice, apple spice cake. cake. But let me tell you something. 
because in, in, in real Troy style, I couldn't find spice cake mix. I could only find yellow cake mix. And I didn't have apples, but my neighbor has a pear tree. <laughs> so I used yellow cake mix. I added like a teaspoon and a half of pumpkin spice mix to make it spice cake. Um, and I had applesauce, and then I, I used the simple slicer on the pears from the pear tree. And let me tell you, it's delicious. <laughs> there you go. And, but just and so you know, the real good. version is really good, too. <laughs> what was that? The real version is really I'm good, sure. too. <laughs> I'm sure. But, you know, like, you kind of get, I don't know about you, sometimes I get intimidated yeah. making, like, switches. And then, of course, I made it for an event, and I'd never made it before and never tasted it before. And it went over really well. So I'm really excited about that. Good. Awesome. And You're just the same person, Troy. <laughs> It's I a go good to shows and do a recipe I've never done before. And I'm oh, like, I haven't done that at shows. <laughs> <laughs> that is the beauty of station Only style twice. shows. <laughs> if you do station style shows, you're not in charge, so they can go do <laughs> and do whatever they want with the recipe. But just so you know, the apple spice cake is a really good show recipe as well, and you can find it um, the station style cards on Consultants Corner. And add <laughs> some whipped cream on top. So whipped cream maker too. Every show. Bring a whipped cream maker. If you don't have it yet, host your own party and get it. It's selling like crazy. Um, okay, so yeah, go ahead and mute yourself, guys, and we'll get started. So first, we are going to start with our team recognition. So just so you guys know, um, as a team, we sold lots of spatulas last month. We sold $75,000 um, as the Bizarre Bullet Train. So lots of spatulas. I'm probably going to guess lots of microwave popcorn makers and lots of new products as well. So congratulations to all of you. You guys were all part of this. And we also added 16 new team members to our organization. So that is awesome. So thank you guys for sharing our business and our opportunity, um, especially for the holidays too. So at this point, um, I would like the recruiters, well, let's do a little different because I don't know who's on. So if, how about if you are a new consultant or if you have never been at a team meeting, um, just maybe share quickly why you decided to join Paper Chef and um, what you're most excited about. Hi, Claudia. It's Tiffany. Hey, Tiffany. I was really hoping to see your face. I know. I have had, like, the most horrific Monday, and I'm in bed already, so sorry, guys. But you're here. That's all that matters. <laughs> I'll save you the imagery there. Um, I am a new consultant. I think I started two weeks ago. Yeah. Um, booked, booked, I think I have eight or ten parties between the two weeks in September and the next two weeks. Um, and also got two uh, two other consultants to join my team, which was fantastic. So I'm really excited about that, and um, just kind of learning as I go here by the seat of my pants because it's been kind of busy. Uh, Tiffany, you know what? I would like you to just for one minute just share real quick your story, like how you used to be in sales, and then you went back to work in school. Can you just kind of you know what I'm talking about? Share that. Yeah. Okay. Um, I have over 20 years in different sales professions from real estate to cars to everything. Um, and I absolutely love sales, but I was a military spouse for a period of time and decided to go back to school and finish my degrees. So I went back and I got my bachelor's in psychology and associates in criminal justice and really felt that I needed to use those. Um, especially after the thousands and thousands in debt to, to earn them. Um, but I miss sales. Um, I love my job, but um, it's, a, it's a pretty high stress environment and high stress job. And I don't want to give up the fun side of, of what I did for so long. So this has been a welcome, a welcome addition and change for me. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. You're All right. welcome. Who else is new that wants to introduce themselves? Hey, I am Dawn's niece, and my mom used to sell it, so I kind of grew up using the product. Um, wasn't quite old enough to do it while she was doing it, and then she stopped doing it. So when he came to me and told me a little bit about it, I kind of got really excited about it, just because I know, you know, she got to do it from home, and she got to go to people's houses. Um, so I got really excited about it, signed up. 
I've got five or six shows booked out already. I've got two this week. Um, got one that's actually booked out in February, but it's out there. But I'm excited about that one too. Um, I work two part-time jobs. So I'm trying to move up with John so that I can do this full time. Yeah, and you certainly can. So. Awesome. Who else is there? Okay, I'm Elise. Hello. Um, I started last month and actually two weeks after I started with Paper Jeff, I ended up having to quit my job at Texas Roadhouse. Um, mainly because of my kids. So right now I'm pushing full time just because I don't want to go look for another job and I love Paper Chef already. Um, so my goal I'm going to share, which kind of involves my why, is to own a home really soon because right now we're living with my in-laws since my husband got out of the army. And so I absolutely need this to work. Awesome, and we will make it work, right? You will find a way. You'll make it happen. Yep. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> All right, do we have anyone else that's on? I can't see everyone's faces. So if you're new, just tune in real quick and introduce yourself. No? Yeah, I'm new. Oh. I'm Robin. Hey, Robin. Hi. Um, I've known Troy for, I don't know, since last fall, I guess. And um, I, uh, we had a house fire in July. And uh, um, we, I, my husband and I both had home-based home -based businesses, which are no longer because our house is gone. And I've done direct sales and I used to be in retail management, um, but my home-based business was a daycare. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to meet new people and do some vendor shows and make some more connections and I need a I need something to bring in income because my husband's disabled as well so um, he is on social security so um, we have a couple kids and that's sort of my why well we're in a rental until our house is getting fixed so um, I'm I'm excited to get some new stuff and some cool stuff and meet new people yeah well welcome to our big family <laughs> All right, was there anyone else? No? Okay. All right, so, um, so yeah, we have, well, before I go into that, so first of all, every month we have our Green by, Be Green by the 15th of the month incentive. And um, if you, so basically as long as you're green, which means $150 in sales by the 15th of the month, your director will send you a fun little postcard and you can collect them and turn it in um, for some Paper Chef dollars. So if you were green um, last month, whether it was by the 15th or just green in general, and you worked your business, you put your apron on, or you did virtual parties, or you sold the product, just kind of quickly wave so we can see you know, who's been working and who's been doing it out there. So congratulations um, on putting yourself out there and working your business, right? Um, so with that being said, I would like to celebrate two special people today that promoted in level. So our first person is Lisa Prowl, and Lisa Prowl is our newest team leader um, in our organization. So congratulations, Lisa. Yay, are you excited? Very excited. Good. Do you want to share? Slow and steady like the turtle. <laughs> <laughs> I told you my workout thing is slow and steady wins the race because I can't do it any different. <laughs> so no, and that's totally fine, you know, but it's awesome. You've definitely, um, you know, definitely grown since we first started talking. So that's awesome. Congratulations. Anything you want to share with anyone? Any tips and tricks? I really appreciate the upline, and I think I've said that to you and to Lori, that, you know, there's a lot of sites out there on Facebook and lots of consultants that kind of get signed on and then left up to their own devices, but what I appreciate the most is that you invest, you and Lori both, because we're not competitors, we're a team and a family, and so you take time out of your business to help us, and I appreciate that. 
Oh, thank you. Thank you. And you know, you're right. You know, if it doesn't help us to sign someone on and then never ever talk to them, it doesn't help them. It doesn't help us. So um, I feel like it's our obligation to make sure that everyone gets off to a good start. And then we have a big, big promotion that just happened last month. Um, we have a new director, and I'm so excited to introduce you guys to Casey Barbarito. Casey is um, a local girl here, and she will be celebrated tomorrow night. But I just wanted her to come on and just um, share her story with you guys because – First of all, she did it in her first 90 days, so she just earned a $500 bonus as well. And she's just, I don't know, she's just fun, and she's determined, and um, she's busy. Very, very busy girl. Right, Casey? Yes, very. <laughs> all right, Casey. Um, congratulations to you and your team, and I think Katie was on. Katie, if you're still on, Katie's part of Casey's team as well, and this is definitely a team effort. This cannot be done by herself. Um, so congratulations, Katie, to you as well for being part of the Barbarito team. So Casey, can you share a little bit about your story so people know, you know, um, why you started, why you decided to go for directorship, and how you made it happen? Um, well, I joined Pamper Chef probably in the very beginning of June, and I did it to earn a little bit of extra cash, and Claudia kind of dangled a vacation in front of me, so that, you know, didn't hurt at all. So um, I watch kids during the day, and we have a small hobby farm, and I am very busy. And my daughters, I have one that's um, going to graduate here this summer, and I have a little daughter in the background that's smiling. She said, that's me. Um, she is in sixth grade. They're both very active swimmers. And um, the reason I started Pamper Chef is kind of, I thought I was losing myself, you know, after watching kids for 10 years. And um, Claudia and I always joke all the time that I have a mommy brain. <laughs> and I needed to prove to myself, you know, that I actually still could do things on my own, and, you know, for myself. So um, I had attended a Pamper Chef um, show that was for a friend of mine, and that's where I met Claudia. Um, we, uh, I began to think about how much I would spend at that party, and it only made sense to not just spend to get some stuff for me to, you know, use in my kitchen. I thought about you know, actually buying the new kit. And, you know, for $249, I get $1,000 worth of stuff. And that was just great for me. So in the month of June, which was my very first month, I had $5,000 in sales. So I was like, what? Are you kidding? Seriously? I can earn, you know, my commission was about $1,300. So that was a no-brainer for me. At this point, I just decided, you know, Claudia said, hey, how do you feel about becoming a director? I said, yeah, well, you know, we'll give it a try. If it happens, it happens. And Claudia hated to hear that. So she's like, it's not going to, if it happens, it happens, you're going to do it. So I listened to Claudia along the way. I dug my feet in, you know, which I'm good at. Claudia knows that. So um, I was, at first it was going a little slow and then the, all of a sudden the puzzle pieces started to fall together, which Claudia said it would and it did. So once they started to fall together, the more I started to push and try to get this. So I was really excited to do it. And then towards the end, I'm going, oh, well, geez, you know, I've got one more recruit I still need. And then thanks to Katie, Katie, my wonderful little Katie, she just, you know, pulled in at the last minute and she got me my last recruit. So it is definitely a joint effort. And, you know, I'm very lucky. Claudia pushed me along the way and, you know, we got to direct her. So I'm super excited about that. And it takes a lot of hard work. I'm not going to lie. And being very busy, um, I even called Claudia yesterday saying, oh my God, I can't believe, you know, how stressed out I was about it. But, you know, there's really nothing to worry about. You've got people there right beside you and we're here to help and I'm learning along the way. So I'm super excited about this. So That disbelief will stick with you for a little while. <laughs> yeah. What did you say? The disbelief, like 
after you get that promotion or I'm even feeling it now that I held my title, like, like, wow, did I really do that? Mm -hmm. Like that sense of achievement and disbelief. It, it sticks with you. It's kind of addicting. <laughs> Everyone should feel it. I'm just oh, saying. <laughs> Say thank you for sharing that, Casey. Uh, you know, we are just so excited for you to have accomplished that for you and your team. Um, and this is just the beginning, right? I mean, you're still in your, you know, a little more than 90 days. A crazy, crazy what can happen when you decide to go for it. So, um, does anybody have any questions for Casey? I do. Because I really want to hear, I'd like to hear your answer. I think it's important for people on this call to hear your answer. First of all, Casey, congratulations. It's a really Thank big you. deal. You're welcome. I just want to know if there was any point in the process where you felt like either this isn't going to happen or I don't, I, I'm just not going to do this. Like, was there any point where you were like ready to throw in the towel? I, I'd be lying if I said, no, there wasn't a point because I started off and I thought. Oh, did we lose her? Or is it me? No, no, no. She froze. You broke her, Troy. <laughs> Man, I didn't think it was that hard of a question. No, I don't think it was that. It might be her internet. Yeah. So, um, but I think it's important for us to know that um, no one's no one's ra uh, road to directorship, it, you know, is uh, is bump free. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So while we wait for her, guys, I just you know, directorship might not be on your mind, so I don't want to overwhelm you. But I do want to, you know, we do want to inspire you to like be more, want more, and grow more with your business and really why not okay if you're doing about two shows a week why not share the business with others why not give others what pamper chef has done for you so maybe you've been around for a while and you haven't brought you know you haven't recruited anyone because you're like I don't want to be a recruiter and that's fine but think about maybe what pamper chef has done for you and your family and why we would hold that to ourselves and why we wouldn't want to share that okay so and director is not I, I don't even like the word director it just sounds scary okay but it's basically just the first level of leadership with pamper chef and you can do this with little kids you can do this working full-time I've done it working full-time as well so I don't want you to think that this is something that's going to take 40 hours um, to achieve. But if you are already doing or thinking about doing two shows a week, whether that's virtual cooking, freezer meal fundraisers, whatever is out there, then I just want you to consider um, finding out a little bit more about directorship and what that could mean for you and your family. And um, with that being said, we just actually today started a new directive on program. And basically, it's just a group with extra support, extra training for you along the way um, on your journey to directorship. So if you have not heard about this group and you're on this call or you're watching the recording and you want to be on or you want to find out more, just ask me or ask your upline and we can definitely help you get in those groups as well. Because what's the worst that can happen is you learn more, you become stronger, right? And you get a better paycheck so um and you know the other thing i wanted to tell you guys is i just came back from my first executive seminar and it was amazing but the thing that i didn't know is that there's lots of other executive directors i think there's like 40 or something i don't know but that the bizarre bullet train was amongst the top five leading teams of the whole entire company okay so i want you guys to know that you're part of a very fast growing strong team um and we're just awesome <laughs> you guys are awesome you're awesome you're awesome and you're awesome so you guys are just amazing i'm just so proud of you guys um you know whether you are doing one show whether you're doing 10 shows every person is part of this team um and sometimes you might think you know we do too many trainings and we have all these calls and you don't have to be part of them but i just want you to know that we do this because we want you to succeed and you can decide to opt out of a training but at least if you want it it's there and you know that you have the full support um and you know what you this business you you 
you can do it by yourself. What do I say? You're not, I oh, know I can't think of it. You're in business by yourself. You're in business well, for yourself, you. but not by yourself. <laughs> there you go. That's where I was going. See, that's what, what happens when I go off my notes. Um, okay, so I guess we lost Casey, so we'll just keep going, and maybe if she comes back on, she can um, help answer any questions. Um, so we're going to start with our training part. Um, Troy, are you ready? Okay. So... I am going to share my screen in just a sec, but, um, but I really want to start with this quote because guys, we just, every person who's here on this call clearly has had some successes last month and that's awesome and exciting. Whether, you know, you were active with at least 150 in sales or you were green as a director, um, you maintained your title, you know, we, we had a lot of successes on our team of promotions and all of that. But one of the things what I want to start with um, is uh, a quote from Rory Vaden that says, success is never owned, it is only rented, and the rent is due every day. So when we experience success like a promotion to a new level, it's awesome and it's exciting and we need to celebrate it. And we have to remember that we've, that means that, that we get to jump right in and get our feet wet and our hands dirty again the next day. Um, and one of the things that I'm really excited about is that home office has made it pretty, really um, easy for us to uh, to train new consultants and this is available to all consultants so I'm gonna just go ahead um, I'm gonna share my screen here um, if I can find my pampered chef bear with me I don't know what it, it's not trying to share the right thing hang on um, bear with me here so Okay, I see why. Um, so, who here has, and, and, and I'm asking a, a question that I know, like, everybody's answer maybe should be yes, but might not be yes, and that's okay. But I want to know who here has had a chance, um, and just show me by raising your hands, obviously those on the phone I can't see, but um, who here has had a moment to go on to PC University and do some of the trainings that home office has provided for us? Okay, I'm seeing a lot of hands. That's awesome. That's okay. Even if it's just one. I, this is important because I think what happens is, you know, we, we want to make sure that everyone has the information, but lots of different people have different ways of disseminating that information. And sometimes really important details get missed. Um, and I have realized I have not um, necessarily done a great job myself. So I am so excited about this new resource that Home Office has um, has given us. So, okay, so just know I have 11, I'm going to turn off Facebook so I don't get any notifications, but I have 11 million windows open because that's how I roll. So, um, so I'm just going to go to PC University here, and I just want to show you. So what? Pampered Chef has done, okay, we have too many weirdo bars. Okay, so, um, so if you're a new consultant, it's really easy. You just hit PC University and then new consultants start here and, and you go. Now, um, as a recruiter, it's important to um, make sure that we are going, whoops, that we are going through um, coaching new consultants. And like I said, I know that this has been, this is actually a huge area of opportunity for me. Um, and and um, Robin is going to get the benefit of this um, now that I'm, I'm familiar with this. So, uh, so for the courses, just you go down and scroll down to the leader's course for coaching new consultants. And guys, this is available in everybody's um, consultant's corner. So you don't have to be a director. But home office is equipping us with what we need to be able to coach new consultants. And they really outline it really well and easily for us. And the reason I'm showing this to you is because my, um, I'm guilty too. My leadership also told me, you know what, go play around with consultants corner and make sure you look. And the truth is I don't, didn't always do that. So I want to make sure that you guys know 
that this resource is available to you. I want you to know where to go to get it and how to use it. So, um, so here, guys, this is for you. So when you have a new consultant, obviously you're, um, you have the support of your upline, but we want to empower you to make sure that you're also able to provide um, coaching for new consultants. And in the beginning, your upline director might do the first one, might go through this with you and have you on the call with them, um, but you still need to know where this is because if someone is out of town or has a family emergency, it doesn't mean that you can't do this. So um, just, to, just to flip through. So this is guidance for us, okay? So there, each, each subject um, will expand and it kind of gives you a basic outline. So we want to make sure that we're checking in with our new consultants regularly. Um, part of it is to celebrate the success for every, every time someone books a show, that's really exciting. And we want to make sure that, that they know that we're excited for them and that, um, and you know, it's kind of like when you have a victory, it's even more exciting to get to the next one. So we want to really celebrate those. Uh, and here we have, okay, five, okay, so here down here are the five easy steps um, to coaching new team members. And they really break it down for us. So we want to initiate um, positive conversations and lift, lift them up through the conversations. And they're even giving us word choices for questions. So we can ask questions like, what's the best thing that's happened in the last 24 hours? Did you notice how Claudia started our call with that? Right, because isn't it more fun to start a call with like excitement and and sharing of victories? So, um, so these are right here. You know, things things again along along the conversation. If things that you can start the conversation with, things that you can insert into the conversation if there are lulls in the conversation. Um, you know, the other thing Claudia asked um, all of our our new consultants is you know, share your why. Why did you join Pampered Chef? Why, why do you want to do this? Why do you want the income from this? Because there's lots of ways to make income in the world, right? Um, so, okay, brainstorm and pick a challenge. So this is really important because this, again, is home office giving us ideas of how to help our new consultants come up with ideas. Um, and not it's not just us telling them what to do, but it's us really working with them and having conversations that help other people come with, come up with, um, with what they want for their business. And, um, and again, word choices here, things like which items do you think, like once you've come up with a list, what, which items do you think you're willing to tackle to achieve your goal? Uh, and guys, as you're hearing this, you're probably going to hear this, these questions and conversations with your upline in the upcoming days. So, um, and having regular conversations is the best way to hold people accountable. And this way, when we follow up, it's because they asked you to, right? And you can ask questions like, how can I hold you accountable? How long do you need to accomplish the action items we discussed? And what should I do if I don't hear back from you, right? People will give permission to say, you know what? I, I may just need you to remind me and give me more time. Or they, you know, there's lots of different things they can say, but you, as um, when we're sharing this business and we're, we're getting people, you know, ramped up to have a strong business, these are, these are some of the steps in the process. Um, and we were talking about um, recognition, so celebrating those victories. So here, here is the course, okay? This is basically like a strong start for new consultants. Um, and if we go here, so we have the base, we have the basics, which we just read from. Okay, what's nice is that all of the documents you need are right here. So for instance, when you're starting, um, when you're starting your conversation, and there, some of these have links in them. Actually, I'll show you the next one. The next one will have some links in them. Um, but there are some, some extra resources here, recipe outline cards. You guys might rec recognize um, some of these that came in your kit. Um, but again, if someone needs a digital version or, you know, the resources are right here. You don't have to go somewhere else to look for them. Okay, so 
getting to that first call. So within 28, 24 to 48 hours of, um, of someone signing up, here's what we want to make sure we're going over with them. We're, we want to show them Consultants Corner and to be able to go to PC University here. Um, we just talked about finding their why. And then here, these are some guidelines for us as we're having the conversation. And guys, these have word choices in them. So you don't have to come up with the wording yourself. Home Office has provided everything that we need here for this. Um, so, you know, ask why they became a Pamper Chef consultant and find out how much money they want to earn. And what is their goal? Like, you know, we heard on the call tonight, um, and forgive me for not remembering your name, but you said that you wanted to purchase a home. Your husband just got out of the military and you guys are in a different financial position today than you were, you know, not long ago. So, um, so these are important things to know about people because this is going to be part of how we can help support people. So, um, so these word choices are right here. Okay. Um, whoops. Okay. This is how I get 11 D million. Whoops. Okay. This is the getting started video that, Oh, okay. I don't know what I did. This is what I get for having 11 D million windows open. I can close some of these. Okay. Um, let's go back here. So I'm going back to, and then to my courses and leader courses. Okay. So, um, so then, so this is where we were. So th the other thing is, um, is going over and making sure, and you can email this to your new consultants and you can, um, you can come up with your own like welcome email, uh, or use one of ours. And I know I'm in the middle of revamping mine to include this getting started checklist. Um, and this is important. This is something that you can send your new consultants. Um, this might look familiar to some people that are here. Yeah, I'm seeing some head shake. Okay. Um, and this is great, especially for people to be able to stay on track and to go through the list. So we want to make sure that in the first 24 hours, our new consultants are signing into um, consultant corner, consultants corner and checking out PC University. Um, and the getting started course was designed for brand new consultants to basically start you out with things like um, the basics of shows and how to set up uh, a show in the system and how to do your order payment account and all of that stuff. And we have that in multiple places. Claudia has done a recording on that that's available on YouTube. And you know, we all know that, that we sometimes learn by repetition. So we want to use all of those resources. But I think it's important to know that home office, like this is brand new, like this launched a week ago, <laughs> that home office has put this in place for us so that we, that it really empowers us to be able to do this. Um, uh, goal tracking sheet. So these are all of the things that you want to go over with your new consultant in the first 24 to 48 hours. Um, and here, your second call. Um, we, they talk about showing like the fast track to director flyer um, and how new consultants have the possibility, have the ability to earn a $2,000 cash bonus and how it, that $2,000 cash bonus is broken down when you fast track to director. And guys, this is something we need to offer everyone that comes into the company, whether we have done fast track director or not, whether we are a director or not, because we don't really know, you know, what, is going to work for other people and what other people's, you know, true needs are. So this is something that can have a huge impact on someone. And, and we have the structure within our organization to help, to help your new recruits do that. So again, like the fast track to director is something you just want to share with them. And then you don't have to like put them through that program. That's a program that, you know, the um, upper level directors and, and the directors that have been around for a while are leading. So um, so you don't feel like you have to do this all on your own. You don't, um, host coaching monthly tracking flyer. This is great so that, um, everybody, this is for us, this is for our new consultants so that they can, so everyone can keep uh, track of the host's name, host contact information, and when you've contacted them and what pieces of coaching or, um, 
or setting things up for the party and such that you've done for them, and also what recipe they picked. Um, you know, sometimes people offer several different recipes in a month. It's really important to keep track of what recipe they're doing, and then following up with everything you need to do to close out the show. Um, okay, and hosting one on one. So you've got to remember that our, especially when our new consultants are doing a kickoff, they may never have hosted a party before. Um, so here's some information for how to put together a hostess packet. Um, this is a formula. This is something I had not seen before. And uh, there are many people in leadership that are using this. And I think that this is important that we are aware of. Um, because if people who are in leadership that are making lots of money are doing this, and my goal is to make lots of money, I'm going to listen to what they're saying, and I, I'm going to try and implement some of these things. But um, the 515-5 formula is five orders before the party, 15 orders at the party, and five orders the day after the party. And this is a conversation to have with the host um, so that she can get, she or he can get um, all of the host benefits that they want and all of the power tools they want. Um, for free or half price. Uh, and and I, er, I really encourage you to, um, to take a look at this. And guys, the way that that's going to happen is through our host coaching. And we have lots of training around host coaching as well. Um, so then before their party, you want to have a call a couple days before their, um, their party. And again, these are really... Um, all the steps are here for us. And you know what? If there are some resources here that you're not comfortable using, that's your choice. You can, but everything that you need is here. So um, six steps to a successful party structure doesn't seem to want to load right now. Party packs, um, if you're not familiar with party packs, uh, they're in marketing imagery. And my computer is being awfully slow right now. Here we go. Um, but we have all of these fabulous party packs that have images to use in their Facebook invitation. It has wording that you can use in invitations and on Facebook. Um, again, this is another home run. People that are using these are, no one has to come up with their own wording. No one has to reinvent the wheel. Home Office has made it really easy. So we just want to download these um, and keep them on our computers so that we can um, copy and paste things as we need. Okay, here we go. Uh, table talk, six steps to a successful party. Um, and so this is for, for you as a consultant, how to structure the party. So we want to make sure that as consultants that we are connecting with guests as soon as they arrive. Um, and here are some questions that you can ask. Here are ideas for how to do, um, to kick off the party and get everyone talking and interacting with each other. So again, they, for, especially if you're recruiting people online and you're not doing a physical kickoff at their house, this is a great way to go through it step by step with them how to do this. Um, okay, what did I do? Okay. Um, okay, so all of these documents are here. And then, okay, that's what we were looking at was the party. Um, and then there's a party outline there that, that can be used. And guys, we can use these ourselves. It's like, it's not like we just have to give these, but these are, home office has made these things available to us. And if we're looking to change things up, here are some resources for us to be able to do it. And again, this goes through each um, point that you want to make on the different calls that you make with people. Um, making sure that you're going through eBiz tools and making sure that people are opted in to, uh, to be able to take advantage of the free newsletter that Pampered Chef sends out for us. Again, the fast track for director uh, flyer and that information. And then show-based coaching is, um, this is a tracker for us to make sure when we are having conversations with, um, with our new consultants that they are, that we are keeping track of it. And that's what the new consultant show tracker is, is that so we know you might do, if you do notebooks, you might print these out, put these in a notebook and do one for, um, for each person so we know who their hosts are, when the parties are, the date they held, what type of show it is, and all of that information because um, that way we know better how to 
coach people to get off to a strong start. And again, as we're doing this, like the first time, if you want help with your first recruit from your upline recruiter or director, none of us are going to leave you in the lurch. <laughs> okay. But home office has made it really, really easy and really, really empowered us to be able to get people off to a strong start. Because we know that when you get like a plane doesn't just like up, go up, you know, you don't get on the plane. It doesn't go up in the air, right? It, you, you kind of, you go along and you move and you move and you go faster and faster and faster until you take off. So these resources are helping us get our new recruits um, to a place where they can do that. So, and this again is for everyone, for, for anyone that, um, for anyone that recruits and, and we've got your back. So I'd like to open it up for questions. I'm sorry, that may have taken a little longer than we. Can I add something real quick? Um, because I don't want you guys to be scared and overwhelmed right now. So I just want you to know that there is resources out there um, for us and for you when, you when you bring people on. But I really don't want you to think that I don't want to bring anyone on because that means I have to do all these calls. Like you are not doing these calls, especially if you're a new consultant, even if you're a new director, your upline will always be there alongside training you. But what that shows you is that we're duplicatable, okay? We're not coming up with all these things. Everything's there. We're following the guidelines. We're reading the scripts. And, you know, you do make it your own. But I just want to encourage you guys to use it for yourself. There are lots of resources like the New Consultant Tracker to track every show. You want to track that. So you might see, hey, I've had all these parties, but they're very low in sales. Hmm, what can I do? Or I've had all these parties, but they're low in attendance. Oh, what? how can I fix this? Or I've had all these parties and I've great sales and I get bookings, but man, I just can't get anyone to join my team. That's what, that's what we're looking for, okay? So don't be overwhelmed with this. This is just that just so you know that there are resources out there for you as a new consultant, for you as a seasoned consultant. And um, also if you're a new consultant and maybe for one reason or another, you are not having these training calls with your director, then, um, you know, find your upline director or, you know, go through the training and then ask them if you have any questions. But it's definitely our goal for us to go through you, with you through these training calls so just to make sure that you're getting off to a good start and we're not leaving anything behind. In addition to that, we do have, like our team runs a new consultant training call every Tuesday. So that's something, you know, again, that's just another resource. And guess what? When we're doing that new consultant training call, these are the steps that we're going through. Yeah. Um, so I'll, I'll wait for questions at the end because I, I want to make sure we stay on, on time. So um, yeah, Liz, Liz is going to share with us a little bit about, um, well, I'm just going to have her share. Liz, you're on. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to be talking about is vendor events and how you can use those. Um, one, how to find and book them. Um, and two, how to use those to grow your business. Um, <clears throat> before I get started with that, though, I just want to give you guys a little synopsis of my last, like, six months. Um, and some of you have already heard this ad nauseum, maybe, so I apologize. Um, but um, I went through a really rough personal time about six months ago. Um, that I had to, I had to take a, um, about six weeks off from Pampered Chef. Um, I had a couple virtual shows that I went ahead and did because they were already set up. Um, but I was not out looking for bookings. I was not looking for recruits and that kind of thing. Well, when that time was up and I was ready to get back into the business, I realized I was starting at ground zero again. Um, and this would be the third time for me because starting and then moving. And then now when I didn't plan for uh, taking this time off and thank God we have a business where I could take that time off when I needed it. Um, but so the last several months have been really tough trying to get back to, uh, you know, the business that I had for the six months prior. Um, and 
thankfully Claudia stepped in and kind of <laughs> helped with um, the coaching of my team and that kind of thing that I wasn't uh, able to do for a while. Um, but so I was ready to get back to work and I realized um, I didn't have any bookings on my calendar uh, for that month, for the next month, for the next, I didn't have anything. And, um, you know, the contacts that I have made here since we moved, a lot of them had already hosted parties and weren't ready to host again just a couple months later. <laughs> um, and so, you know, what was I going to do? Um, I honestly was really worried about losing my title. <laughs> um, and it did come down to the wire, but um, I started signing up for every vendor event that I could. And where I've found those is um, I find most of mine on Facebook. And once you get into one or two, then you start making contacts with other vendors. You start making contacts with uh, vendor event coordinators and that kind of thing. And always get other people's cards, chit chat, with the people that are next to you on either side. Um, Cause they might tell you about another event coming up and that you didn't know about and that kind of thing. And that's where I say I get them on Facebook, but honestly the contacts that I've made at previous vendor events is where I get a lot of them. And um, first I start looking at, you know, local buy, sell, trade, pay, trade pages. I start um, reaching out to different people that um, I know might be hosting fundraisers that um, that they do as vendor events. So schools, you know, they might be having a fall or a winter festival right now. Um, if you are military affiliated, there's usually some kind of festival going on. Um, so reach out to those, but buy, sell trade pages. Also, if you can, and I found through the contacts that I made, um, there were a few vendor event Facebook pages. So maybe go on Facebook and search for, you know, your local area, what, you know, your city, like I would search for Fort Riley or Junction City or Manhattan vendor events or um direct sale group because i have found a few that are you know 40 or 50 local consultants from all different companies where we just share information we share events um <laughs> we post sales when we need them <laughs> that kind of thing so reaching out and if there's not one in your local area it might be a great idea to get one started just to share that information. Um, if that's something that you feel like you can take on. Um, but so at the vendor event, what do you do? Um, I tend to not do a ton of cash and carry. Um, I really focus on just bringing high dollar products uh, that are mine um, to show because what I'm looking for is I am looking for new customer contacts. I am looking for other vendor con contacts because, um, you know, as much as I love selling my direct sales and pampered chef, I love shopping direct sales because I know the impact that it has on people's families. And I would rather shop from a friend than give more money to Walmart or target. That said, I love my target. Um, but so making contacts is going to be, is always my number one priority. And number two, the reason that I bring the high dollar items is because they get people excited. Um, people want that rock crock. They want the all purpose pot. They want the grill pan and press because they want to grill all winter. Um, but they don't want to pay full price. So that gets them excited about either, um, joining your team or hosting a party. Um, and I always uh, do a raffle 
and I just, you know, have like the batter bowl or I put entries into the rock crock or just something that I'm already bringing. Um, and I just have people toss them in there. Actually at my last vendor event, I brought the new deep covered baker with the gray and on the top, I wrote raffle entries here with the new, uh, glass writing pens that just came out a couple days ago. Um, you could also write it on the rock crock. So that was something that, cause people were like, Oh, you know, it, people really liked, and it brought their attention to the new color that we have. Um, but so from those entries, what they don't know is everybody wins a prize. <laughs> um, everyone who enters gets called within the next 48 to 72 hours. Depends on how many contacts I have. I had about a hundred contacts at my last one. So it did take me a few days <laughs> to get to everyone. Um, but when you book and pay for a vendor event, you have to promise yourself that you're going to do the follow-up because otherwise it is a waste of your time. It is a waste of your money. It is a waste of time away from your family. Um, so you have to promise yourself. And if you need an accountability buddy, reach out to someone. I'll be your accountability buddy if you need me to. Um, but you have to do that follow up. You have to make those calls and some people don't put their phone number. So, you know, doing emails, that kind of thing. Um, and add all of them to your um, contact list on yes, Google. Exactly. Even if they don't book a party, even if you can't get a hold of them, um, I've gotten outside orders that way. Where people right. just, they like the email that they get and they go out and buy something. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, and what I give them, and I don't advertise it at the vendor event. I just say it's a raffle. Um, but if someone asks, I tell them. And what it what I give away is a free cooking show. Um, and the recipe that I like to do is the chicken fajitas. Um, I can do the chicken fajitas and salsa for about eighteen dollars. Um, and from that recipe, I usually get on average about a four hundred dollars show. Uh, plus bookings because then people want the rock crock because they're cooking the chicken in 12 minutes. It gets people excited. It's a really good, easy show recipe and it's pretty affordable. Um, and if they don't want to do a live show or they're not local to me, um, I offer either a brownie pan or $20 on top of their uh, consultant or not their consultant order, their host order. Um, and again, you know, the goal is because even if you just get a $200 party, you're making 40 bucks, you know? And so for myself, 20 bucks is about what my limit is on what I'm going to offer. Um, and as you're making these calls, these parties, um, I know that in my experience, and I believe in Claudia's experience as well, these free parties um, are a little more likely to cancel or reschedule. Um, and that's fine. But so when you're looking at your calendar, overbook. Um, I filled my October with these parties. And I have, I had... <laughs> Uh, up to last week, I had 17 shows on my October calendar. Now, two have rescheduled, um, one just to later in the month, and one is rescheduled to next month. But you know what? That means that I still have 16 shows on my calendar, which is still a lot, but it's really early in the month. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I lose two or three more shows. Um, but over a booking like this, I'm not that worried. Um, so you know, look at your calendar before you start making calls and circle or write down every available date that you have. Um, maybe you look at on weekends, uh, doing two shows back to back, you know, a, a brunch and a lunch or a lunch and a dinner show. Um, 
because chances are that, you know, one in probably four or five will cancel or reschedule to another time. Um, and that's just part of it. Um, but then you get the people that are really excited and, you know, I did, um, well, another thing that I do at vendor events is I offer a special for booking that day. And what that special for me typically is, is either a batter bowl or a brownie pan, their choice. Um, but that gets added onto their host order. So one, they don't walk away with anything that day and then cancel their party and I never hear from them again. Um, so I'm not just out that money. Um, and two, I added to their host order whether or not the party qualifies because the deal was I added to their order. Um, now, when the party qualifies, um, you know, that's even better because then you're getting it at least 20% off. Plus, you're getting paid on another 20, at least another 20% on it um, because that um, discount applies to towards your commissionable sales. Um, so you're getting the brownie pan for like 14 bucks, I think, 13, 14 bucks, something like that. Um, someone who's better at math can probably figure it out. Um, but so that's, again, something that I offer. And I booked at my last vendor event, I booked a catalog show. Um, and from that catalog show, I it hasn't closed, um, but that is the consultant that signed with me yesterday. And unknown to me, she had taken her, uh, her, it was her boyfriend's mom. So she had taken those catalogs to her job and gotten another qualifying party. So um, when she signed up yesterday, she not only already had a qualifying catalog party of her own, I gave her her boyfriend's mom's party too. Um, so she already has two qualifying parties. And uh, so she's tomorrow or Tuesday, we're going to get those ordered. And um, I believe that the other one was over $400. So she's already, you know, six, $700 on the way towards her 1250. Um, but so, you know, don't be afraid to book events. Always have your calendar at the events with you. And some of these parties, again, they're going to cancel. Some of them will not be high dollar parties, but then you're going to get the ones that all of a sudden you're getting recruits. You're getting more bookings. You're getting uh, good sales. You know, it's, there, there are great contacts out there. Um, and at the vendor event, I stand in front of my table. I, I am always shocked at the number of um, direct sellers or, you know, any, any vendor at an event that is sitting behind the table playing on their phone, like not even paying attention to the people walking by hardly looking up to say hi to someone when they stop and look at their stuff. I am out front. I either have logo wear or my apron on. Um, and you know, I am greeting people as they walk by like, Hey, are you familiar with pampered chef? No. Well, you know what? We have some really great items or you are, have you seen our new fall products yet? Um, and trying to draw people into me um, because you know, what gets you bookings and what helps recruiting is your personality. We do have a great product. People love our stuff, but you know, they can go online and order from any consultant that they don't know. What you want to do is start building that relationship before they even know what's happening. <laughs> um, and you know, right now is the time to get these fall and holiday bookings. Um, some are already going to be full. Some might have a uh, paper chef already, but go to these events and make con. If, if you can't get in, if you don't have a show on a Saturday and you know of an event 
that already had someone go to the event, start, you know, talking to vendors and getting their contact information. Still go ahead and make those contacts. That's still going to be a worthwhile investment. Um, and that will help you find other shows. When we first moved here, um, I had two shows booked within five days of us arriving here, uh, or two vendor events booked. From those two vendor events, um, I met people that told me about other vendor events. Um, one person got me into our local largest vendor holiday vendor shopping event um, at the last minute when their usual pampered chef consultant had a family emergency and because she and I had chatted and started building a relationship um, once she heard that they needed someone she reached out to me first um, which was really great so those vendor contacts can be just as important as customer contacts um, and you know don't be afraid to book out if they're not available this month that's fine book them next month or the next month um, start looking already at booking early January pamper chef typically the first couple weeks of January because they know that it's a slow it can potentially be a slow time they offer extra host rewards for those first two weeks like last year on top of your regular host rewards um it was a free food chopper i think which people love um and they make great late christmas presents for that person you forgot about at the office you know um but so don't be afraid that if they say that the next you know november and december are just too busy for me i can't do it okay well how about early January that way you know it's out of the holiday season things have calmed down people are looking for things to do um, so that's kind of what I do at vendor events um, and how I those contacts and stuff that I make and how I follow up um, and if you're looking for a script um, there is a script on the uh, bizarre bullet train page for your vendor event raffle winners and it just <laughs> tells you exactly what to say read through it a couple times kind of get comfortable with it so it doesn't sound like you're reading a script um, and get those calendars filled up so. awesome and you know what don't worry about what you're gonna say and who you're gonna call like just book those vendor events first and then we'll help you get there john you have your hand, hand, hand raised I'm not so sure. there anywhere else that you look besides facebook for your vendor events because i have been striking out everything has been either um they want you to have it already made like a handcraft mm -hmm. thing or i even got told it was a women's only thing so i couldn't be a part of it so is there anywhere else that you look i know karen's told me to look in um at the Chamber of Commerce, but the town I live in is kind of small, that they don't have very many events. I look uh, on Craigslist too. Craigslist as well? Mm -hmm. I search for uh, events, bazaars, fairs, things like that. Yeah. Also, um, maybe not your own Chamber of Commerce, but you know, if there's a larger city near you. Um, Katie just commented the local paper, which is another great one. But again, I go back to you know that there's vendor events going on go and meet people because even if they are handicraft items um i can guarantee you or almost guarantee you that every one of them is selling at vendor events that are not just handicraft items yeah um, and even if it's a women's only thing unless it's they're only it, letting it must have been like problems. a woman's night out or some right. yeah, yeah yeah but you know go and send your wife john <laughs> yeah all right guys i want to make sure we stay on track um so i'll stop the recording later and we can uh, we'll stay on for um questions as well so um we're gonna 
thank you, Liz. And of course, if you have any questions about vendor events, um, and especially holiday vendor events, just you know, post on our page and we can help you. But you need to look for them now because the November and December ones are probably filling up here any day. Um, okay, so we it's time for our recognition, fun recognition, to recognize all you guys, all our top sellers and recruiters and um, all of you. So um, yeah, I'm going to hand it over to Terry. Terry, are you ready for recognition? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to try and figure out how to do this. Share screen on the bottom. Are you seeing it? Yay. Okay, so so we're looking at it together. Okay. Um, so I'll try and go quickly, but this is still really important. So uh, yay, anybody who had an a thousand dollar show this month in September. So Lisa, Christina, so awesome. Directors, Troy, Karen, Jody, Brianne, way to stink and go. That's so awesome. Go, Lisa. Knocked it out of the park. That was yeah. awesome. Congratulations. That is pretty cool. That feels really good. Um, we had a couple, our, couple of our promotions. Way to go, team leaders and directors. Woohoo, Casey and Lisa. That $1,000 show helped you, Lisa, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was like half the requirements, right? <laughs> um, okay, let's see here. Um, okay, so our top in sales for consultants, Lisa, way to go. Christina, she's on my team. Woo -woo. She's not here tonight. Um, Amber and John, way to go, John and Nicole. Directors, Liz, rocking it. Way to go, girl. Casey, Brianne, Troy, way to go. Jody, awesome. Karen's on tonight. Way to go. Way to go, guys. That's and there's so Terry, awesome. too. <laughs> Aaron is on as well. So Good job, Aaron. Um, so, Lisa, $3,000. That is pretty impressive. Good job, everyone. Yeah, you're hitting up there in the in uh, director sales, girl. Oh, well, no, she needs to move over to the other side, to the yeah. dark side. <laughs> Are you in that group? I, I hope so. <laughs> um, all right, so we've got our top recruiters. Lori, way to go with three. Yay, Lori, that's awesome. Yay, so good, so proud of her. Troy and Katie, so good with two. Dos, that's an awesome um, a goal to have is two recruits a month. Uh, Liz, way to go with your one recruit that Yay. you told us about, that's awesome. Uh, and she's even like starting to off strong. Casey, John, way to go. Melissa, good job. Um, and see, Melissa's doing so good. She's like all down on herself. She's really doing a great job. Um, Chessie, Tiffany, Brooke, awesome. Way to go, way to go, way to go. Way to spread the love, guys. Yes, definitely. And then incentive points, um, if you're new and you don't know what this is, you can earn points for all of your sales and all of the recruits that you qualify um, it, within a year. And you earn a certain amount of points, and you get to go on a vacation for free. So all these folks mm -hmm. have um, been working hard towards that free vacation. So way to go, earning your points. Yep, yep. Start finding out now how to earn one so you're right on track when the new incentive trip launches in December. Mm -hmm. Right? So congratulations. Did we miss anything? I think, I think that's it. I think we got everything. Okay. Yay, so congratulations to all our top achievers for September. You guys are awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, so let's wave our hands real quick. If you earned our new apron that we just got, isn't that awesome? It's so like soft, I like it. It's like super soft and sweet and I just think it looks very classy. So congratulations if you earned that. Remember that when you do $750 in sales this month, you're also gonna get the new consultant tote in the gray. And if you just started Pamper Chef and you already have the apron, and you already have the tote, let me tell you, you probably want another tote um, because I do one paper, one product and those totes are the best and actually I don't know who told me that but someone said they use the big tote as a diaper bag and she's like what better way to walk around with a giant paper travel bag and I was like you know what that is very smart <laughs> so um, if you have an extra one just taking shopping with you guys okay guys so um, I did promise um, 
a raffle. So I have been putting um, everyone that's on, I can't see myself, so I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, here it is. Everyone's little name on here. And I believe, Lisa, you won last month, right? And we mailed you some goodies. And uh, I did tell Lori that Lisa beat her director, so it's time for a special gift. So if when you beat your director with recruits or sales, it's always a special gift. And actually, Lori gets a special gift from me because she beat me in recruiting. So, oh, yeah. It's on. It's on. We always like our little challenges, right? <laughs> All right. So I'm not going to look. So we'll see. I have, I have Karen. Karen gets a goodie for being on. Yay. Congratulations. Um, so guys, remember some important um, dates. So we normally do have a very regular schedule, but you know, we kind of get thrown off November and December. So what's going to happen in November is we have home office um, person, Judy Joel, coming to visit our local team here. And I'm going to try really, really hard to, um, instead of having a virtual meeting, to just Zoom you guys in so you can be part of it. So that's going to happen on November 4th at 6.30 Eastern time. Okay. I will really, really try and hope that the connection works to zoom you guys in you might not be able to participate like ask questions but at least to be able to see her training live she is awesome and she's so much fun too and um then the next stage you want to mark is december 5th because that is going to be the incentive trip launch so i think it would be fun you know local people we're going to get together but i think it would be fun to have a zoom as well and everyone you know just be on and maybe watch the watch the reveal live and then you know just share what you're excited about and basically it's the new announcement of the new incentive trip coming for 2017 so just you know have some important dates um november 4th will be our next meeting it'll be a little different because we have home office here and then december 5th is going to be the next meeting so that's kind of it for this year crazy right i'm not ready for this year to be over it's been so much fun so um i'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording and then um we can stay on for some questions and um help answer anything so let me just stop the recording and not end the meeting that'd be great <laughs>